Hi guys, so now we're in Photoshop and we're gonna take this image planes by Zam Animator. I've just got this guy off the internet. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be worried too much about hitting it exactly. We're just using some sort of a reference so that we can get into Maya and start this robot to get a cool design. This guy looked all right. It's a nice simple one. It's very low resolution. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Just start with anything that you can find off the internet and just go from there. Uh, you know, obviously credit uh, people when you're using their models and their designs whenever possible. Uh, but here we go. So now what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to show you this on the front view. The side view, let's just get rid of it. So I'm just going to crop it and we're just going to be working only on this front view. The reason is because the side view is very simple. We'll just keep it as is and we can export it by itself the same similar process is going to happen. Front view is always a little bit different because we need to keep it symmetrical. So let's have a go here. So I've just cropped this image now. Uh, we're just going to get our layer guides up. So in view, we can do that under rulers or that's just Apple R. And then usually what you can do here is just get rid of this, move across and we'll snap that in the middle. Now by default, Photoshop will snap that ruler in the middle and that will give us our exact place where the middle of the image should be. So let's go in now and we'll just grab this guy and just by using the arrow keys, sorry, let's duplicate that layer so that we're not on a locked layer. And we'll just this time use the arrow keys and we can bump him across till he's pretty much in the center. And now that we've got that, we can just grab one half of the image, just like that. Copy and paste that onto a new layer. Now on the new layer, we're just gonna flip that horizontally and this will we've got to apply that and this will pretty much hold down the shift and then we just go across so we've matched that pretty much on that front plane and we suddenly have a completely symmetrical robot which is really great and that's what we need so once we've got that robot in place let's just go down and we'll flatten that image and that's fine now that's kind of our image if we have a look at it at 100% it's about this big. So that's fine, let's get rid of our rules. So we can just go Control R, and we just get rid of this guy, just drag it across, and put it right out, and that'll get rid of it. So now that we've got this robot, let's have a look at, at how we're gonna implement this into Maya. Now, at the moment, this robot is just an image, so it's not gonna come in as a transparency. And there's a little trick that we can use to, that Maya uses to bring the transparencies automatically in so it just sets itself up as it comes in. So that's by using the alpha channel on this image. So let's just select this guy, we'll go select all, copy that, and onto a new, when we go into our channels, we're just gonna create a new alpha channel here. So just in the new layer, we'll catch it, we're creating a new channel and then let's just paste that in and that's our new channel. So one thing that I know from doing this in the past is that Maya likes, wh wherever the image is white, that is where Maya is gonna show, uh, where, sorry, wherever the image is black, that's where Maya is gonna show transparency. So if we left this alpha channel as is, then wherever the black was on the, on the image, that's, that would be transparent. So what we've gotta do is just simply invert this, which is just uh, control I, and that will get us the inverted of the image. Now we go back to our normal layers and last step, just deselect that. And we want our, let's just go back and make sure we've got all these channels selected. On our main image, we just want the image to be 100% black. So let's do that, make it 100% black. There we go, that's uh, Alt Backspace to make an image 100% black. And really, this is our fi finished image. I mean, I, I know it looks black, but the alpha channel will come through and wherever there's black, wherever there's white, that will be black. And wherever there's black on this alpha channel, that will be transparent. So let's just save that off now. Go File, Save As. And we're just gonna call this uh, in our thing, Robot Picture. And we can just call this Robot Front because it's our front view. And as a PSD is fine, that's great. Everything's fantastic and just save and there we go. We have our image ready. Now for the side view, it's exactly the same, much simpler because we don't have to make it symmetrical. Uh, now we're gonna pop back into Maya and we're gonna load these up as image planes. It's gonna be a very simple process.